Write the balanced reaction for the complete combustion of propane, C3H8. Propane is an example of what we call a hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbons are compounds composed of only two elements, hydrogen and carbon. So hydrocarbon. The problem says the hydrocarbon undergoes combustion. So what do we mean by combustion? Combustion is reaction with oxygen gas. So the other reactant is oxygen gas. It says here that the combustion is complete. So what do you mean by complete combustion? When hydrocarbons undergo complete combustion, there are only two products. Carbon dioxide and water. And this is applicable to any hydrocarbons. So our hydrocarbon is propane, C3H8. Oxygen gas is O2, carbon dioxide is CO2, and water is H2O. In balancing combustion reactions of hydrocarbons, we only need to look for three elements, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So the numbers must be balanced on both the left and the right sides. And I will give you a tip. Balance first carbon, then hydrogen, and lastly, oxygen. So how many carbons on the left side? There are three. And on the right side, there's only one. So how do we balance carbon? We put the coefficient 3 on carbon dioxide because 3 times 1, that's equal to 3. So carbon is already balanced. Let's move on to hydrogen. There are 8 hydrogens on the left side. And on the right side, there are 2 hydrogens. So how do we balance hydrogen? We put the coefficient 4. On water because 4 times 2 that's equal to 8 so hydrogen is already balanced lastly let's balance oxygen there are two oxygens on the left side and on the right side we have 3 times 2 that's 6 plus 4 times 1, that's 4. A total of 10 hydrogens on the right side. So how do we balance, I mean oxygen. How do we balance oxygen? We put the coefficient 5 on O2. Because 5 times 2, that's equal to 10. So now that all the elements are balanced, the equation is already balanced. Therefore, the answer to this question is C3H8 plus 5O2. The products are 3CO2 plus 4H2O. This is the balanced complete combustion reaction of propane.